what's good with y'all what's good what's good man we tuning in for another video another budget uh, uh big rim budget bill episode today we're going in on dolo waiting on rick to pull up hope the weather pass over it don't spoil the rain i mean we got cloud you know i know every he laughed vlog lately i've been telling y'all cloud let me let, let y'all see the real there y'all see that so i don't know been getting lucky lately it ain't been it been blowing over but yeah, we're going in on Dolo today. Uh, I hope this is the episode right before oil press. Because we so close now. I hope this is the episode right before oil press. So today, I hope we get the little wiring stuff straightened out. We got to find out. We're trying to tie the, the uh, hot wire from the fuel pump into the factory wire. Because, you know, this car came with an in-tank pump. So we're trying to tie it in instead of running a whole new wire. That, and then it'll come on with the key and all that good stuff. So we need to, we need to hunt that wire down. Uh, what else? Spark plug, we can put them in now. Cause I went to AutoZone and my package came. All right, so the camera had cut off, but did what I was saying, did what I got. My oil came in, the uh, Royal Purple. See, I'm running in, I'm running in my engine now. So I got that 10W30, uh, seven quart. So as soon as the break in is over with, I can go ahead and put that in there. Then I had to get the timing tab for a seven inch balance well mine actually six and three quarters so I got that you see it's already open so I just went out there and put it on it's already on so the timing tab on we can set the, set the engine top dead center all that good stuff then I got my transmission fluid see I got two gallons right there so I pour that in uh, and this is the rest of the stuff I got these too. I got these collector gasket, man. I got some good ones for, for uh, Dolo. I'm going to go to those on meats too. They ain't have but one. So I will going to get two of them. Then this stuff for meats. Oil so I can get that other oil out of there for. I got I got a gallon, but I guess I had used some of it. So it's a quart low. So I got one quart. And I, can, I got a filter for meats. So I can change the oil. And then I got a filter for Dolo too. Same thing. I like some people run the wicks and stuff, but that's cool to me. I don't trip on oil field. It's too tough. Then all this is, this 15 feet of uh, fuel line, that's for Dolo, for the nitrous, the nitrous system. Because when I get ready to run the dedicated fuel pump, I'm going to have to run a brand new fuel line all the way from the trunk, all the way up here to the nitrous plate. So that's why I got 15 feet to run that new fuel line. And we're going to have to run... My bad, we're going to run a line all the way from the back, from the fuel cell, or the fuel pump, up to here. Because I'm going to have another regulator, which I, I might go ahead and mount it. I might go ahead and do that, because I'm going to have to mount another regulator. So I'm going to mount the, the second regulator, and then run a fuel line from the regulator to the uh, to the nitro plate. The, the fuel cell not on the nitro plate. So that's why I got 15 feet. So I have more than enough. But yep, that's what's going on. That's what I just picked up today. Said timing tab already on, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna set this engine top dead center today. Go ahead and put the spark plugs in, drop the distributor, obviously, tighten it down, wire it up, everything. The only reason y'all would not hear this engine crank up today is because I want to do my first startup on racing fuel, and where I have to go to get it is my hometown. These guys I know they they keep it, and um, uh, I'm not I don't feel like going today. I already been running around, so I'm not going today. So uh, tomorrow, I'll be going to get the racing fuel. And I'm going to put 10 gallons in here. So you're probably talking about $110 probably, if I remember right, 110 octane. So I'm going to put 10 gallons in here to race fuel, do the, um, do the break in. So that's why I said probably the vlog after this one, the next episode, I ain't going to say next vlog, but the next budget bill episode after this one, y'all should be here in this car room. So today the goal is pretty much get everything up to the point where it can run. We're going to wire the electric fan up because when we first crank this up, it needs to let it run. You know, it ain't good to start, start and stop it. It's really not good. But when we first fire this up, I'm trying to break the cam in. So we got to do all that. And I'm going to make sure my radiator hoses I got work too. So when we end this vlog, hopefully we got it prepared to where all we got to do is pour gas in it. And then y'all can hear it run. We can break it in. That's why I want to get it to that point. I'm talking about even putting water and stuff in the radiator and all that. I want to get it to where all we got to do is put the racing fuel in here, crank it up. So, when Rick pull up, 
Y'all just stay tuned. Look at this. See, this is why I can't get nothing done, man. This is why I can't get nothing done. Every day. So that right there put an end to this day. So the next clip y'all see gonna be of the next day. So I don't know man, it rained, it's crazy. It coming down too. Ain't rained all day. This what I was telling y'all about big meats. That time uh y'all like uh where Rick at? This what I talking about. See, it ain't hold on get it right. See it ain't rained all day. And I've been out here, but I've been running around messing with meat or uh, having to run run air and stuff like that. And then in the evening time, when by the time he get off, this what going on right here. So it just it just be holding up everything, man. Like it's crazy. <sighs> but anyway, so I'm gonna see y'all. Tomorrow, which will be the next clip. I mean, it ain't the end of the vlog, though, but obviously ain't nothing going on. Like, it started raining after I did my intro, so. I don't know, man. We're going to catch y'all next clip or whatever, then. We're going to see what we get done, so just stay tuned. All right. So, I guess the day not over. It's still the same day. Sun end up coming out. I said I'm about to make the most of it, so. I'm about to do a little small stuff. The stuff I can do quick. So, I see I got everything out. I'm gonna go ahead and put the oil stick in. I got to have it. Um, could say the top dead center, but little stuff like this. I'm about to go ahead and Teflon tape this so I can put the center unit flush, the uh, heater hose fitting. And I don't know why I only got one heater hose. I think that's probably all they had at the time. I see them have to cut it, so I'm gonna put that on. Run it to the um, water pump for now. So I'm gonna cut it. And then I found out I'm gonna have to get another radiator. Right, right bend, but it's too small right here. It's too small. At least I think it's too small. I might have to just work it on there. Nah, it really too small. Yep, they're too small. Right bend, so. And the bottom radiator hole wrong too. It's too long. That's it over there on the brim. So I'm taking them back. That's why I run flex ready at the hose. Uh, if I knew the size, I would have just got a flex ready at the hose. But I know the size now, so I'm going to take them back and get a flex hose. And I want to get this done. Because we got to have this. We got to have this to, uh, to crank it up. Prime it. And I need to tighten them bolts too. Stuff like that. So we're going to do a lot of little accessory and detail work. Man, Rick just hit me. He just getting off, man. So. I don't know by the time he, he get here. I don't know if he coming today, Carl. He probably won't have but 40 minutes or 50 minutes, something like that. But that's no talking. I'm going to sit the camera down and see what we can get done. All right, y'all. So we over here. I'm going to run that one to that one. So then we cross over. Putting the heater hoses on. Y'all know we got to have that good heat. Man, don't tell me this one too. I'm gonna mess around and take all this junk back. God, too much. I can't do nothing for all the little, little stuff like this. It's too small too. This don't here too small too, man. It's crazy. Fit right there. Them bad boy big right there. In two different sizes. Let me see. That one bigger. So that's a they got to be a three-quarter heater hole. Cause this a five eight right here, y'all. So this one will work. Yep, I need a three quarter. So the the fitting on the the fitting on the uh 
water pump is a I need to turn it around now. Fitting on the water pump is a uh, three-quarter hole. So I'm gonna have to get that tomorrow. So this one right. So I'm gonna put this on, tighten it down, then we're gonna measure it. And run this one to the uh intake, which it had to be done anyway. So I'm gonna get that done. Alright, so got a nice route on that Teflon tape. Make sure you get that Teflon tape on there. I want this bad boy leaking. Get down in there. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Get this snow up down. That thing, that's tall, man. It's gonna be. I get that to how it's gonna look, y'all. A lot of thread hanging out, but it's it getting tight. All that Teflon tape on there will be good, though. I'm gonna over tighten it. This should be man, it's a lot of threads out of there, but if it starts leaking, I just snug it. There we go. So we got that. All right, so we're checking in. What I got done so far, we got the heater holes. I'm missing a lot of little stuff now, man. I've been off camera looking for stuff. Now, when I when I don't need the stuff, it popping up left and right. I got to order that, too. I'm about to go in the house and order that. I just thought about it. But, um, no more fuel clamps. I think I used all of them because I did all new holes and stuff back there. So, now, I just cut that off, make it neater. So I need some fuel fuel clamps so I can uh, hook that up. Look at that right there. Oh, that's gonna pull that out. But uh let me see fuel clamp, then three-quarter heater hole, you can tell, you can see how big it is. The run down now, so I can't hook that up. I got plenty of these because I remember I bought a whole box. I can't hook the radiator hoses up. Cause basically what I want to get done is hooking up the cooling system. So when it go to crank it up, everything wired up like it's supposed to. Then I can come out here and wire this up. They're gonna be simple. That's a ground, then I'm gonna put it on 12 volts. They come on with the switch. So the fan will be running when you hit the turn the switch on. Probably wire in a relay too. But uh oh yeah, I got tiny. I'm about to tighten these down. Get an allen, get some allen wrench and tighten these down. Uh, the oil stick, I got the oil stick in, but it's a little loose. It's a lot loose. Oh, let me lighten it up so y'all can see what's going on. It's loose, man. It's a short oil stick, but it like it's too small down now. So I don't know what that is. It's all the way in, too, so. Look like I'm gonna be needing an oil stick or something. I don't know. Look at that. I don't know, man. I need one that big down there, but I got it in there for now. Um, what, what else I can do? Oh, we got there. We got the temps in the unit all the way in. That's another thing. I need a grommet. I'm finna go in the house and look for them. Cause I swear I had them. Look at that. They won't even stay now. I swear I had them. Got the uh, PVC valve in over there. So it's just a little small stuff, man. I might have to wrap up for the day, call it, man. What I'm talking about, a little stuff. Gotta take the radiator holes back. I'm gonna get a flex hole. So I guess I'm about to get the tape measure and measure so I know what, what length flex holes I need to. I'm gonna run one on the bottom and the top. So I'm about to do that. So I guess they're gonna wrap up for today.